cool. Many congratulations, off and running at the Players' Championships. Very dominant performance. You must be happy with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good with it, but I had the feeling there was a little bit more in the tank. And uh, I think I could have done a little bit more, but overall, I think it was a good performance. My, my double, a couple of good finishing. And uh, of course, he started off poorly, but you, you still need to uh, to answer on that. I, I think I did it in a great way and uh, I can't really complain. What was my average on the end? Uh, 103. Okay, I think that's fine then. That's a good start of the tournament. One thing we have noticed, the 180 seems to have dried up for yourself. Are you worried about that part of your game or not? No, I'm not worried about 180s because if I'm going to hit the 180s, then the other people has to be in trouble even more. There is that, agreed. Going back to, to the Grand Slam, how long did it take you to get the defeat from Simon Whitlock out of your system? Because you looked really yeah. annoyed even for you. I, w I was I was absolutely uh, gutter mate, and uh, I have to say that uh, we missed so many match darts, and I felt phenomenal. And then to 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 hurt yourself that much, that that's not not in your favour. And they need to acclimatise a, a few days, and you need to think about it. And I think I did it right. Uh, I knew there was more to go in that tournament. I felt it. Uh, I think my average was there, my game was there, but. When you don't hit the doubles, and yeah, what can you do? Uh, only blame yourself. Is that where winning's a habit, and where they haven't, where you haven't won these tournaments of late? You start thinking about it a little bit. Nah, I'm not. if I was thinking about it, I would have told you, but I'm not even thinking about anything because it's only a quarterfinal game. Yeah. If it was the final, I would have said something different. If I would would have lost a few finals in a row, I would tell you, hey, uh, yeah, you're totally right. But that's not the case. Do you know what I mean? And but it's coming, and I know we'll be coming really quickly. And uh, there's a few nice tournaments coming up, coming ahead. I was going to say that there's one on the horizon that I know you've got your eye on, Alexandra Palace. And the good news is it looks like there is going to be some fans in there. Still yet to be confirmed, but the good news, the fans are coming back. And that must please Thank you as God. well. Thank God. It would be nice, of course, but uh, it's still far away and you still need to adjust you on the rules at the moment. And uh, I'm competing in this play championship, so first want to make sure I keep concentrating in this tournament, so I don't want to make any mistakes. Michael, pleasure as always, champ. Thank you very much. Um, hi, Michael. Uh, congratulations on the result tonight. Um, I think you told another broadcaster this week that you're sick to death of defeats. Um, yes, is that affecting you at all, your overall belief and confidence, you, even though you'll tell me something you uh, deep down? If I, was still, if I was still playing 90 averages like I was doing in the Premier League, I would say yes, I will still do. It, it is doing me any harm. But at this moment, I'm starting to get my focus back. I start playing well again and uh, I feel comfortable again. Even though I've lost last week, but I was still in control of our game. And, Everyone know I, I should have won that game, and we know what's going to happen then in the tournament. But I feel good. Of course, there's still a little bit more touches to do for myself. Some some little gimmick on the moment you have to do it. But uh, I think I'm a, I'm on a, I'm in a good spot. I'm on my way, and I, I know there's some more damage to do. How important does this tournament have for you? What what sort of belief is it important to you have that going into Ali Pali? In in any tournament up towards the World Championship, it's nice to win. So I class this as a Grand Slam of Darts, World Grand Prix, European Darts. It's all the same. You want to win tournaments, and that's all about. If I didn't want to win tournaments, I would have been home with my wife and, and kids. As simple as that. Uh, I'm a winner. Everyone knows me as a winner, so you have to act like a winner. And when, when you get beat, you have to take it on your chin and you have to move on. As this year has unfolded, do you now feel that you as do you now feel that you're due a victory, a big one? No, the, 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 this year, of course, it's and and the, it's not being what I wanted to be, but still, there's things where I can grab myself on, and I see the light on the end of the horizon. So uh, I've know there's more in the tank, and uh, you need to believe in that. You need to believe in yourself, and you need to believe in your own ability. Anyone else says you have to believe in yourself. OK, well, I'll get the bleeping machine out. Thanks for that, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, thank, thanks for your time. It's, it's me who, speak, who speaks there. It's not, not someone else. It's not, you, you're not talking about against a robot. It's someone human there.
Absolutely. Thanks for your time, Michael. Cheers. Thank you. Michael, congratulations on the win tonight and a great performance. Do you feel like you're edging ever closer to the consistent level that you require from yourself? We're starting to see these Tumple Savages very regularly now. With all the respect, I'm not playing too badly now. Uh, the TV performance regularly above the 100 average, not many mistakes. So, yeah, I feel there's more in the tank. And uh, as everyone, as all your followers probably know, uh, of course, this year has been absolutely disaster for myself because I, I hoped for more tournament wins. But uh, you, you always need to keep believing in yourself, and that's what I always do. So uh, I know there's more in the tank, and I feel up for it. Was the defeat to Simon in the Grand Slam probably your toughest defeat of the year since, since the World Championship? Uh, yeah, of course, in the Grand Slam, it, was a, it wasn't the toughest defeat. It was, why was I doing so much damage to myself? I was in control all game, missing six, seven, eight matches. I don't know how many. And then you should... Uh, you should, I should have uh, rewarded myself, but I didn't do that. And uh, they only can blame myself. And if you don't take a chance against a guy who's in form, like Simon Whitlock, yeah, then he takes him. I guess the main positive from tonight was six out of seven on the doubles. Is that something you went away and worked on in the few days between the Grand Slam and this event? Uh, I didn't do too much on my game, to be fair. I've been home, uh, relaxed a little bit, and make sure I've been come back with a, with a lovely feeling again. And uh, I didn't, in them, Two, three days, it's not going to change my form. Simple as that. And I feel well. I know there's more to come. So we'll see what's going to happen. A few big names have already gone out in your section of the draw. Are you, are you quietly confident you can go on and retain this title? Obviously, early days yet, but the confidence there, the belief? I don't know, but Chisnall, of course, lost against Mervyn King. Things like that happens in darts. And there's me and Vincent were looking into the, the, the pro two table yesterday evening and I said, Normally, a few years ago, you always had like 20 players. You said, I want to have them first round. But in this stage of the tournament, there's no more bad players. They all can play proper darts. And you, you have to perform well against any one of them. And you're not allowed to make any mistakes, any one of them. So you have to keep going.